You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Live. Let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Because I'm going to tell you, they got one hell of a running back out of Penn State. And the Cowboys camp is going on. And as the draft's going on, John Matrix was like, who could the Cowboys draft on defense? And I said, I believe they will draft the best defensive player in this draft. And they did. Micah Parsons, that's right, linebacker out of Penn State. Look, I'm no Cowboys fan. That's pretty well known, right? But we're going to cover the Cowboys a good bit on this channel. John Matrix, that is his team. I'm a Niners fan. The one thing, being a Niners fan, I know about are damn good linebackers and what they look like. Patrick Willis and Navarro Bowman, anybody. Anybody. Very quickly, make sure you go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. Grab you a a bronze or a silver membership. Exclusive content, joint videos from myself and John Matrix together. Member live streams. We talk everything over there. Sports, entertainment, politics. Let's get to this from Al Kick. Micah Parsons wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy more than anything, and now the Penn State linebacker has gotten his wish. The team selected him with the number 12 pick back in April, mostly due to his versatility, tremendous versatility. Apparently, that versatility is already on full display in team's rookie minicamp. Nick Eatman, Rob Phillips, two beat writers for DallasCowboys.com, recently dove into how the team has been utilizing Parsons so far, whether in the traditional off-ball linebacker role or letting him rush the quarterback off the edge. Parsons can affect the run and passing game. Quote, Michael Parsons will likely do a little bit of everything at the linebacker position from box work to rushing in certain packages. And that was on display Saturday. The first round pick showed explosiveness, diagnosing and busting up a couple of run plays. He also got past fourth round pick Josh Ball on one play while rushing from the left side. Considering the physical makeup of Parsons, it's easy to see why Dallas would want him to in so many roles. At 6'3", 246, the former five-star defensive end is as physically gifted as they come. He posted, and this is nuts, he posted a 4-3-9 in the 40-yard dash while also producing a 34-inch vert and 19 reps at 225. His 10-6 broad jump was impressive. But either way, the Cowboys understand they have a player capable of doing a lot of things. With the defensive coordinator Dan Quinn now in the fold, what once was a liability should now be a strength. The defense should be improved along the defensive line, but the second-level talent Parsons, Leighton, Van Der Esch, and look, he may not be around too much longer. He has got some real neck issues. Jalen Smith and Jabril Jabril Cox should be the biggest uh, difference maker. Outside of Dak Prescott's return from a season-ending leg injury, the expected improvement from the Dallas defense will make the most significant contribution to Dallas competing for the NFC East and making a strong run. Yeah, uh, look, I'm not the biggest Dallas fan in the world, but I'll be the first to tell you – I think Dallas, once Dak comes back, additions like this, Micah Parsons, I I know everybody's leaning heavy Washington, and we're not making our picks yet for the season, but I'm going to be leaning heavy Dallas Cowboys. In that NFC East, I'm higher on Dak Prescott than a lot of people, and Micah Parsons is a beast. That defense will improve with Micah Parsons. Look. This kid ain't Leighton, okay? This kid ain't Leighton. You're going to be thinking. You're going to have visions. Navarro Bowman out there. Patrick Willis. Guys like that. Um, I mean, I understand that's two Niners linebackers, and there's other ni- uh, linebackers that's been in the league. But, look, they were two, arguably two of the top three when they were in the league with Jim Harbaugh. It's just a fact. And they were complete beasts at the linebacker positions. 
And that's who this guy reminds me of is both of those guys, if I'm to give you my honest opinion. And I think the Cowboys, it's a 17-game season. The Cowboys are going to score 30 points a game. If their defense is any better, if their defense is any better, they should, in my opinion, win that division. I know the Redskins' defense is very, very good. But who would you rather have, Ryan Fitzpatrick or Dak Prescott? I think the real challenge in the East comes from the Giants. I do. Because I think Daniel Jones is going to take a step this year. And their defense was already improving last year. We'll see. We'll see what the we'll see what the jet comes of the Giants, but right now early, early, this is not an official pick, but I am heavily leaning Dallas Cowboys. Michael Parsons looks like a beast. This guy's liable to go out there and have 150 solo tackles for crying out loud. I mean, he's going to bust it up on run plays, and he's going to get back there, and he's going to wart the living piss out of quarterbacks. Dallas Cowboy fans should be fired up over this guy. He's a beast. He's already showing it in camp. Wait till this season. He's going to improve that defense for the Dallas Cowboys. How much, I don't know. But any improvement would certainly help. That is a weak division. A weak division. Cowboys missed it last year, but honestly, I think that's because Dak got hurt. I really do. I know they struggled in some games. They looked bad, but once he got hurt, the season was pretty much a wrap. Tell me what you think, Black and White Live fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.